Hello everybody. Welcome back to the show. It's me. I'm here. Petting goats. And uh I I've I've looked up some some facts <laughs> from quite interesting that British show. Uh just because, you know, I want something to talk about. <laughs> and I'm kind of bad at thinking about things right now. Wait, 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 never mind, never mind, never mind, we're timed right now. Twenty goats, twenty goats, twenty goats, twenty-one pillows. Am I, am I right, fellas? That has, okay, that has to be, like, my favorite thing to say, ever. Am I right, fellas? Like, that's so good. It works in so many situations. It was that five goats? I think that was like five goats. <laughs> I wasn't counting. I wasn't keeping track of the other goats that I got in there. Damn. Will we go and not get stuck on the wall again? <laughs> get in there. Get, get in there. Get to the hole. The hole. Oh, oh, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, mm, mm, ah, mm, 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 mm. Okay, what with this um, school year starting back up, right? Since it's school time now, I can, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, sing, you know, singing's starting back up. Sorry, I got a whoop, you fellas. Yeah, singing's starting back up. So, uh, you know, acapella group at the school, we're, I guess, singing tomorrow? We're singing tomorrow, but it's just like the national anthem. <laughs> so, you know, whatever. But maybe, uh, the, maybe the day after, we have, we have another rehearsal the day after. Which I don't think it's going to be too serious of a rehearsal. But who knows? Maybe we'll start getting into our actual stuff. We didn't get to do retreat this year because of, you know, COVID and all that jazz. But, actually, that's, that's kind of, that's, that's kind of interesting to think about. I did one retreat with them. <laughs> Which is supposed to be like a yearly activity. But I, I've only done one. And I like maybe might get to do one this upcoming summer. Bro, watch out for the goats. <laughs> like they are they are just coming your way, homie. Get in there. Get in the barn. Get in the barn, boy. Go. Go away. Get in the barn. Sending them, sending them off. Oh my god. This one just don't want to get in the barn. Get in the barn. Get in the barn. Get in the barn. Get in that barn. <laughs> no, just go somewhere else. Go somewhere else. Do something better with your life. Go. Go away. Go get this other goat. Get, 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 get in that barn. <laughs> I'm whooping you. Get in there. Smacking you in the literal goat booty. I'm gonna need you to get into the freaking barn, please. Come on, for me. For for me. Get in the barn. For me. Okay, we're done. Alright, now facts time. Yeah, I took some from quite interesting. That British show. I don't care if I was slower. You cannot tell me anything. Why? Who are you? Yo, I'm going to high rule. <laughs> I guess. Oh, yeah. This is when... I got too used to the... Like, you know, it, it's it's all chills part. I got too used to that. <laughs> uh, okay, here's one. Women buy 80% of everything that is for sale. Really? <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? No, not on sale, for sale. So, so I guess the the other twenty percent is just everybody else, you know. <laughs> Which, all right, that's that's cool, I guess. Why does he have boar tusks? <laughs> I do not remember that. I thought he had a regular mustache. No, oh, he's got boar tusks. All right, here's another one. The founder of Match.com lost his girlfriend to a man she met on Match.com. Bro. <laughs> I mean, that's a way to sell the product. I would 100, like, like, if I heard that, 
and I was like debating getting on match, I would get on match. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, bro, oh my lord, mm -hmm. that is crazy. <laughs> Is she? I'm gonna hit you in the I'm gonna hit you in the head with this sword. You wanna fight me? If you gonna miss me, then just say that. You ain't gotta be all like I'm digging your horse because I just like the way you're treating it. <laughs> Stop pretending like you know my horse better than I do. I punch you in the face. <laughs> I like how they've all accepted that my horse is named Steed. <laughs> like, like that's just his name. Or her name. Is opponent a lady? I think opponent's a lady horse. Gotta go get my horse back. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Boy, I mean, if you wish, you must follow. Okay, here's, a, here's another one. In 1915, the lock millionaire Cecil Chubb bought his wife Stonehenge. She didn't like it, so in 1918, he gave it to the nation. <laughs> bro. Bro. How much... <laughs> how, how much does Stonehenge cost? you just gonna be like, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Hmm. You know I actually screw these because these are uninteresting. Y'all know that, um, I forget which president it was, but he went to like Poland or something. And because of a translation error. Yeah, whatever. You can have the sword. I don't care. It was due to a translation error. Uh, it was basically... <laughs> what his translator said was like I'm here for sex and I'm not leaving <laughs> imagine being a Polish citizen and a US president comes over and that's what he says why does clunker sound like a robot slur why didn't I think of that before I like before I wrote that I really wrote that and just and was just like, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's a regular set of words. <laughs> those letter go, those letters go together and don't make anything. Hey, nothing suspicious about that. <laughs> Carry on. Ooh. If y'all been keeping up with my Instagram and all that, you would uh, you would have seen my um, my show post. Why am I in here? Because I made a pie show board, which was awesome. I love the game. It's probably my favorite board game nowadays. I'm sneaking up on you. Why do I feel like that was what I was supposed to do? Tell has been captured? Yeah, exactly. I wonder why. Ding dong. Ooh. Yeah, I know my horse. Why oh, you gotta be all weird? <laughs> you can just say, be safe. <laughs> you know? Could have said that in the village and I left. <laughs> I didn't big chillin', but no. Oh, the gate was locked. Okay. I guess I just guessed correctly. 
I like how she just gets straight up shot, like actually, and I get knocked over to the head. Like, like what? This is such an absurd situation. Oh, you're stealing children? And then I remember, so, alright, there's this one dude, I forget what his name is, but he makes like, I guess, Legend of Zelda manga, kinda? It's pretty neat, they're pretty cool. I remember reading a good portion of these Twilight Princess ones, and like in this scene, he just flat out gets his whole entire arm chopped off. <laughs> He also, at this point, had a sword, like, and wasn't about to become a wolf. <laughs> like, they, 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 they did switch up certain things to make it, like, you know, more story-worthy. But, yeah, it was, this is a, them drones are really good, actually. I, I kind of want to check out the, uh, Ocarina of Time ones. Because I know, I ain't never read those. Going across the bridge, but I'm past mad fast just then. Oh no, it's just the Twilight. <laughs> the designs of stuff in this game just look so sick, right? Hey, look at that. Look at all them lines. It's all like stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been kidnapped. What is this thing going to do to me? Just kill me for no reason? You can't snap my neck because I'm too cool. And I'm also like wielder of the Triforce. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Triforce game. <laughs> alright, alright. You, you, I guess I've talked more about this when I play Skyward Sword, definitely. But I love the fact that like the, old, the whole reason all the rest of the Zelda games happen, lore-wise, is because Demise just gets poo-pooed on and is salty. Like, he gets smacked down in his own realm, and he's just like, you know what? I'm cursing you, actually, so that, like, we have to fight for all eternity. Hey, it's Midna. <laughs> Alright. This is, like... A little weird <laughs> to think about, right? But like, I think mid is the reason why I like short girls. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. <laughs> I'm not explaining that any further. I'm not going any further than that. That's that's as, that's as much as you get. <laughs> but mid is great, wonderful, I guess helper person. She's not annoying like the rest of them. I'm a dog. I'm damn leashed. Can I use my senses yet? Can I go digging? Why do I keep my earrings? Midna. <laughs> Does she ever take the thing off? I can't say she ever takes the thing off, right? I don't think she does. Yeah, through the whole duration of the game, she keeps the the thing on, even after she gets the whole helmet and all that. Also, her theme is a banger. Straight up, complete, actual banger. What? Well, probably one of my favorites. This for music. This is like, this has got to be my favorite Zelda, right? Like, like the music in this game is crazy. It's crazy good. There's no way it should be that good. Why did you have to do that? <laughs> Why did she do that? Like, think about it. She could have just like went through. <laughs> is it because the hat's too big? She could have just went through, right? I'm gonna dig in the corner, right? You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
full of holes. Let me dig through here. Let me dig through here. There we go. And we are out. And now I am become Steed. Noble Wolfman. You know I'm a person. Why are you treating me like I am a, an animal? I dislike you for that. She she kind of makes it like it's a big deal. They kind of treat it like it's a big deal, but she's pretty cool. She's like, I'm helping you out. Why am I just looking at the hole? Why are we just looking at the hole right now? Alright, whatever. That's the end of the episode. So, uh, we call this one here. Thank you. Hope everybody enjoyed. And, uh, I want you to have a great day. Bye!